Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey and we are over at Cable Channel 3 and you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org sandylandcenter.org and we love to have you see us live in person over at the south side of the square um, come, over, come over and visit with us for coffee any morning and after a very stormy and rainy night last night all across the greater Midwest there will still be some thunderstorms and the, the pattern calls for heavy rain um, in some places and as these scattered thunderstorms rumble across the area producing heavy rain and sometimes um, localized flooding. Uh, in the wake of the, of the the storm or that it will mostly be sunny though and today it will be quite hot uh, just like yesterday across the southern plains of Kansas right through to Oklahoma with the mercury getting right up to the 100s again yesterday topped out in our area at 106 but right now in the square it is partly cloudy uh, with a relative humidity of 54, quite humid, and the temperature is at 86, and when with that higher humidity it feels more like 93, and with north-northeasterly winds at 40 miles per hour. The high today, we could expect it going between 96 to 97 in that region, and the low later on this evening. Um, at 70 degrees with some scattered thunderstorms um, but for the next six hours we can expect increasing winds as they go from the east to the northeast uh, between 15 and 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow, Thursday, uh, widely scattered showers again or thunderstorms early and then partly cloudy with a high of 95, the winds 15 to 25 miles per hour and uh, with a 30% chance of rain, and then low in the evening hours of 70 degrees, and relatively high humidity between 53 and 61%. Friday, it can be partly cloudy with a high of 100, and the low of 74 in the evening, but there seems to be no rain in the forecast for Friday. The winds, though, will be south southeasterly at 60 miles per hour. In our community, um, we want to wish today a happy anniversary to Tim and Dee Fisher. So if you see that lovely couple, wish them a happy anniversary. And tomorrow, we want to wish Mildred Fisher a happy birthday. Um, and I always want to encourage the young people over at the library, and today, They'll be doing their book review on extinction as they go through the summer reading program. Um, dig into reading. Uh, so that's still going on. And then we can expect this weekend coming up the annual fair, the annual Stafford County Fair and Rodeo. Uh, the rodeo will showcase um, bronc and bull riders, roping and mutton busting for the younger riders. And uh, there's a benefit concert for the Oklahoma um, victims of the Oklahoma tornado. That's a special event this year. And this um, concert would be highlighted by Jake Jill. And Jake is a country rock musician, and he will be performing on Wednesday, on Saturday night. And when you get your tickets for the rodeo, that will take you into Jake's show for free. So do come out and um, do this concert for the benefit of the Oklahoma um, tornado victims. And that should be quite interesting. And again, uh, for the Stafford Fair, as usual, they would have their hamburger and watermelon feed. And I know I enjoyed the watermelon last year, and they were excellent. Um, hamburgers also. So come out to the fair and enjoy Wednesday. And then Thursday there's a 4-H 
Appreciation Day for the 4-H Club and Friday uh, there's craft lessons for the kids. Actually there's something for everyone on each of those nights so do come out and support the Stafford County Fair July 12th through the 13th. And we want to congratulate some young people. Justin Clawson, Denise Crow, and Kayla Temple. They were named to the Dean's Honor Roll at the Pratt Community College. And these are young people from our um, city right here in St. John. So if you see them, congratulate them. That's, that's tremendous. Justin, Denise, and Kayla have been um, named to the Dean's List at the Dean's Honor Roll at the Pratt Community College. And William Millen was named to the President's Roll at the college also. In today's menu, over at Maxwell Senior Center, we have some barbecue beef, some potato salad, cream, creamy coleslaw, bun, and plums. Oh, that sounds like summer when we have plums on the menu. And tomorrow, uh, it's roast, pork roast with gravy, sweet potatoes, Italian vegetables, rolls, and a frosted lime gelatin for dessert. And on Friday, we can look forward to potato salad with vegetables, tossed salad with green peppers and bread and peaches. All very summery and enticing. And over here at the Senior Center, uh, today we have Swedish meatballs with noodles, green wax beans, apricots and pineapple salad, a chocolate pudding, and tomorrow a hot pork sandwich, mashed potatoes, spinach, fruit, chocolate cake, and on Friday we can look forward to a Hawaiian chicken, rice, mixed vegetables, coleslaw, and lemon pie. And our thought for the day, or food for thought. As you go through life, you will have many opportunities to keep your mouth closed. Take advantage of each or all of them. As we go through life, we'll have many opportunities to keep our mouth shut. Take advantage of all of them. That's our food for thought and our for today. Thank you and have a great day and keep cool.